welcome to another episode of Carbs. You're on the only show I sent a car. And BS, welcome to me, Carbs. We were sent a promo package by Cadoba, Mexican Eats, and uh, it's very similar to uh, Chipotle, same type of idea, uh, but I've never actually been to one before, so it was uh, it was a, a treat, a treat for me to be able to go into one for, for once. Uh, Jeff Fu was the one that they contacted. Jeff Fu actually, I believe, eats there all the time, so, uh, so he is one of their permanent customers. But will they win me over? We're going to find out right now. They have a new taco that, it came out actually on the 27th, but uh, we didn't have time to do this video until right now. The Knockout Tacos. And uh, yeah, let's open up this package. I love the box, by the way. I also like the inside. Uh, the the one that we went to was in Upland, California. Super nice people, like unbelievably nice people. And apparently, like the the owner or the uh, manager of the place knows Chris and Justin personally. Isn't that like what are the odds? What a small world. They sent us a uh, luchador mask, which uh, maybe that means maybe that's a sign that El Flamo needs to come back onto the channel. But that's really cool. I enjoy that. I like all the little things they sent. At first I saw this and I was confused. I was like, why, why, why is there tacos within this glass case? Uh, but then they also sent a mini hammer and the idea was to break this open, which it's plastic and I'm not gonna do that in the car. But I like it. Now I have a tiny little hammer, which is something I've always wanted. They gave us this little chicken and uh, look at that, a little bottle of Patron. How cool, look, I gotta tell you, we do promotional stuff every once in a while, it's not all the time, but when you want to win us over, give us booze. It always, it always works, it always works. There's a little game that you can play if you choose to do so, which explains all of the tacos, which I'm gonna uh, tell you right now, but just on a whim, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it. This is gonna land on the Mad Rancher. Did it, did it, no, not even close. Okay. So these are the tacos that they've got. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna try all six of them, but I, I'm gonna pick like three and we'll try those. There's the triple threat, which is grilled steak, bacon, three cheese, queso, uh, fajita, veggies, pico de gallo, and uh, cheese, drunken yard bird, tequila lime chicken, guacamole, salsa verde, uh, cilantro, minced, minced onion, and cheese. Okay, so I'm not gonna go into each of these, <laughs> but I'm gonna say the names. The gladiator, uh, you have the, uh, the Bom Bovian, Bovian, <laughs> two-timer, Mad Rancher, and, uh, I don't know which of these I'm gonna actually try, but it's cool, they also sent, uh, this is actually how they make their tacos in there. They place their taco on this little metal thing, and then you eat from there. Let's grab this. Uh, they also paid for some sides and a drink. I actually do want to try their, uh, their dip. All right, let's do this. This looks delicious. Wow, that's really good. So we're gonna be trying out uh, the Drunken Yard Bird, which I did say was in it, but let's do it again. Tequila lime chicken, guacamole, salsa verde, cilantro, minced onions, and cheese. This is the inside of your taco right here. Uh, it looks actually looks really good. Uh, I'm not a fan of some of the greens in there, but I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be just fine. Let's dive in and get a bite of the Drunken Yard Bird. I spilled guacamole all over myself. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Guacamole is one of those things that I was not a fan of before doing the show. And it's, it's all right. I, I can get behind it now, especially in something like a hot dip. Uh, despite being super messy, though, this is not a bad taco in a slice. This is actually very good. The flavor of the guacamole mixes very well with the chicken. That is pretty delicious. I would rate that a uh, low five. I get it again. I might take off the onions. I mean, it's just a personal preference because I do get the crunch in there. But flavor-wise, it is really, really good stuff. So let's find another one in this sea of stuff to do. All right, so now we're going to be moving on and doing uh, the two-timer. And this is the pulled pork salsa, rosa, shredded cheese, lettuce, pico de gallo, and cold little cheese, and a crispy taco wrapped in a flour tortilla spread with three cheese queso. The amount of cheese that they packed onto this this looks exceptional. So here we go. I'm super hungry, so this is this is winning me over. More so than usual. It's dripping a bit though because of that that pulled pork. Let's dive into it. Other than being messy, the pulled pork. Oh my god, the flavor on the pulled pork is awesome. And they packed so much cheese on it. One of the things about um, other places that you get th this type of setup, I'm always having to ask them to put just like tons of cheese on it. And on this one, they just did. I love the, the two taco shells, the soft on the outside, the hard on the inside. It's good. Oh, one more bite. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think that's my favorite so far. Only complaint 
really was just the fact that it it was messy as hell. That's why usually you eat this kind of stuff in there or take it home and put it on a plate properly. And don't eat in your car. That one's a solid five. It has heat in it. And it also just, the amount of cheese, the cheese just tasted awesome. It melted properly, but it wasn't too melty. That's the way that I like my cheese to say at all times. Videos, good stuff. We're gonna try one more taco. Let's do this thing. Now we're gonna tackle for a little variety of uh, the, the veggie one, the Bohemian veg. Shredded cheese, black beans, corn salsa, guacamole, salsa verde, minced onions, cilantro, and corn cheese. How many people do you think I'm making mad by saying that? All right, so this is for the vegetable lover. I'm gonna go ahead and let's bring the camera over. This one's a little messy. So that's what we got working in uh, this particular taco. I figured that this was a good uh, variety maker for those that uh, don't want meat in their uh, product. Okay, let's dive into it. Uh, the last taco we're trying here. But overall, uh, I think that this has been a, a very positive, positive trip. I had never heard of this place before, honestly. I do not go out to Mexican places all that often, but now that I know that it's a thing and I know that it's close by, then I'm, I'm gonna go again. I actually wanna try their burritos really bad, but uh, the tacos are still pretty decent, so let's get a bite. I really like the interaction of the guacamole, the beans, and the corn. Everything mixes really well flavor-wise. I don't think that this is the taco I would get, per se. I do like my meat, but I still think that it's a tasty alternative, and it's good that they have something for people that don't want to basically go and eat meat. I mean, that's all there is to it. For the vegetarians, this is what you would get, but it is good. I would rate this, uh, it's, it's the weakest one that I tried of the three, of course, because it does. it's lacking the meat, and the meat is what brings it to the table. This one, though, I would just go a solid three. It's middle of the road on that one. The other two, though, especially the three cheese version, oh my god. It was so good, and I will take that home, and I will eat the rest of it. Either way, what are your thoughts on this place and these tacos? And go get them. I mean, they're just, they're very good. Everything there seemed super cheap in comparison to other places that we have around here. A huge shout out and a huge thanks to uh, Cadoba and uh, their little game here. Maybe we'll try like some sort of Russian roulette in the future, but uh, yeah, we're definitely going to uh, come back here. So hey, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below if you get anything from this place. What is your choice of meal? What is it that you get? What do you put inside of it? Let me know and we'll see you on the next episode of Carbs.